So came across a another Linux distribution and this one is called S Sleeper OS. And what is Sleeper OS? It is an Antix based Debian based Linux distribution coming from Spain and they seem to have different versions. They seem to have a Mate, a GNOME and a traditional KDE version. I of course went ahead and just hit the giant download now and basically went ahead and downloaded it and as it tells you forget other os's with ads you can kind of guess which os's they're talking at and i went ahead and just clicked down right now started the vm and got to this uh, wonderful screen that needs to use name and a password now hear me out if you just click on download, you're going to get to the screen here. Okay. It's going to download the ISO. Then you're going to go back to CPOS and then you could look at the files, which seems to be the latest thing now. And there find the username and password. Or as someone will probably point out to me, you can go to the docs, getting started to learn more and it will tell you it's sleeper guy and good night. Now, I don't know if this is the latest craze with Linux distributions or that this is my second distribution in a row I'm trying that doesn't have the logical username and password. But please, people, if you're making Linux OSs, have it somewhere early on the username and password. I implore you. Not everyone wants to go digging for username and passwords. Rant off. Well, the second time. Anyway, this username is sleeper guy and it's good night. So sleeper guy and good night. Okay, there we go. Loading it up. Well, that was quick, which is, of course is the aim of this type of distro. Although the, the wallpaper is, wow, uh, that's uh, hurts my eyes. I'm just gonna configure the desktop. Uh, can we change the, 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 the wallpaper, please? Yeah, please. Oh, much better. Okay, so this, of course, is using the Trinity desktop environment, which is essentially KDE 3.5, uh, carried on by another group of volunteers. So it has that real old... retro look really for, for lack of a better word uh i think let's first uh you install this and we'll take it from there so as you can see it's using the ntx linux installer which of course uses components from open mps linux <sighs> rest in peace mps linux okay we'll use the whole disk here fine Okay, it's going to perform and install it. No, I don't want you to do anything. Uh, computer name. Oh, just leave it there. Leave it to NTX1, it's fine. And the main, the same, that's okay. Uh, English, US is fine. My time zone. No, that is not fine. Come on. There we go. LA. Next. Uh, okay, let's reboot. I was hoping it was going to ask me for username and password. I was going to only hope. Uh, Sleeper OS. Sleeper guy, good night. Did I make a mistake there? Huh. 
Okay. Now. First thing I would do here is create another user because I don't want to use that user account. I don't know why there isn't an option to create a new user account during the install. And also have to be very honest with you, I'm not uh, a bit out of date when it comes to Trinity or KDE 3.5. So, uh, password and user account. How on earth do I create a new user? Yes, I know I can use a command line add user. But let's do this from a normal user's point of view. Uh, they super user. Am I utterly going insane? Okay, right. System administration. Users. So here we need to go to administrator mode. Uh, good night. And now, yeah, this is where we would actually go manage the selected users. But uh, I don't think that's going to give us the option to add a new user. So all I would do here is open up a terminal. Terminal. Go sudo add user. Gosh. Might. Okay. This is the same as gosh. Yes. Okay, so it's automatically adding the user to the various groups. That's interesting. And I could just go here, but you're not going to find it. So we would have to actually go and close that. Go back to Logger Manager, go back to Users, Administrator Mode, Good Night, go to Users. And I want to just check Sleeper Guy here. So, what group are they a part of? So I want to take to gosh. And apply gosh. Yeah, at least have let's also open up a terminal again. Yeah, let's just add gosh manually to sudo sudo user mod dash ag sudo gosh good so now gosh is part of the sudo group and if i now go to appearance of themes i can now log out and i'll log in as god Okay, our preferred test environment behavior. Yeah, let's keep a TDE. Next, this is fine. Traditional style finish. Okay, now we have a distro I would use because now I'm using my own account, and now. Let's go back here and now fix the resolution. Uh, so be monitor display. Huh? Oh, my aching soul. Uh, the root account still has the other password, so I just need to fix that. And let's 
can enable global display, supply that, accept, and then in the resolution, we're going to make it 920 by 1080. Accept the configuration. And the last thing I want to do is open up a terminal again. It's a terminal. It still has a good night password. I've got it open as okay gosh so that is working so it seems I'm gonna change this to password cool okay done now that we've removed the user well we've we've created a user added them to pseudo group change the default root user the next thing I would do now is go ahead and do user management and remove the old user. I'm going to skip that. And now that we've done that, let's look at the disk job. So under development, they've got the vim. Firewall utility, UFW firewall. So that's uncomplicated firewall. The status is currently off at the moment. Uh, they have... Links to the browser, they have Firefox. What's search bar? Oh, they have a whole actual search bar here. So that'll take you to start pages and Conqueror or DuckDuckGo. Fortunately, you'll probably have to change your default web browser. And just because Conqueror uh, doesn't display web pages as well anymore. Okay, I did choose the CMonkey suite. Doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, multimedia. XMMS. Oh, I think this is the original one. Oh, oh. XMMS one, I haven't seen this in a long time. That's old school. Uh, just a PDF viewer and an office. Can set a wallpaper here. Uh, whole utilities, desktop utilities, file manager, but not commander, ZCFM. So, this I suppose, if you're not getting enough power from Conqueror as your app, you could use this, which would work. Uh, by default, of course, your file manager for Trinity would be Conqueror, which it used to be before Dolphin was created for KDE. Yeah, that's how long I've been using Linux for, I still remember, before Dolphin was created. Leapad, okay, so really looking at this out of the box, really nice minimal applications, which is what you would expect from this. Uh, I don't see too much additional applications uh, here system menu trinity components i mean like like kde's always had well, i suppose trinity there are themes like it's going out of fashion i mean you can theme it for for ages and you can even change this to the old kickoff style uh, start menu if you wanted to do that. Uh, I just want to look at uh, for software. Okay, this LPKG manager. So that was my password. So let's add that. Okay, so we're not going to do this right now. Guess if that's adding additional packages right there. Hmm. 
Uh, a lot of other tools seem to be removed. Um, Yushi and TX will sometimes have additional applications that I think they've taken out, which is fine. I mean, you can still do it all by the CLI. Um, terminal, so if I want sudo apt update. Right. It's obviously getting uh, packages from Bookworm as well. I, I think it's the fetch. So sudo apt install the yeah, fetch. Yeah, and you can see here Demio 12 kernel 5.1.0. That's interesting. This person not using one of the newer kernels, but I mean, that's still not yes, so it's all right. Bash, no. Uh, batch packs or anything. So I must say, if they can work on having a new user added correctly during the installation or giving a script afterwards, so you don't have to manually go and do that. Definitely be interesting distro to watch out for. And I appreciate what they've done. And they've basically, they've taken NTX, I know, and added another interface onto it. But it's nice to at least see another distribution out there that has Trinity Desktop available out of the box apart from Q4S or Q4OS. So really speedy, really useful. And I'm actually considering possibly installing this on one of my old ThinkPads. Just getting a little bit old in the tooth now. Um, I suppose the one thing we haven't checked yet is uh, this process manager or system monitor. Uh, process viewer, HTOP would be better option here. And I mean, you can see it's memory usage just 371 megs. I mean, that's even less than sometimes Linux DE does or a bunch of others. So you really can't uh, fault this one too much. Uh, and hardly any usage. So yeah, least uh, powerful machine. And you enjoy KDE but can't run a modern KDE. This is definitely an option to try. Folks, thanks for watching. Leave your comments below. As always, bye for now.